vintage vines. Is that what it's called? Vineyard vine. Ooh, vintage vines sounds better. Maybe they should change their name. Now I'm going to open up some boxes. I have some things that were, that I had purchased through a live sale. And by the way, the live sales this week, the calendar of the ones that we know of are um, in my community settings, my community tab. If you go to my page, you'll see like videos, home info at the top. It's under the community page. So it will give you a list of the sales that will be upcoming. All right, so this first one that I'm gonna open is from Thrifting Adventures. The thing of it is you, <laughs> And I know that y'all know this, but you buy stuff and you can't even remember what you bought. Let's see. I have everybody's cards um, right above my workstation. So I keep this. Oh, cute. And she's Stephanie. These are cute. She's added some little, little papers and ephemera to her packaging. And then here is the box. I'm kind of doing this sideways. Way up. My angles don't always make a whole lot of sense, but it's working for me right now. And you know what, Stephanie? I'm going to cut this in a way that I can reuse this box. See? I'll cut this little part out, and I can reuse this box. I'm going to throw that over there. What did I order, Stephanie? What did I order? I can't remember. Again, I'm gonna be very, gonna open up it up very ginger so I can reuse the bubble wrap. All right. What did I order? Oh, I remember. I loved this. I loved this. This is, it's a mustache mug. I think it's, it was made by, who are you made by? Turon? I don't know. Look at it. It's a mustache mug. So you would, like, if you have a mustache, you drink of it like here and it won't, you won't get stuff in your mustache. But I love his little dapper face. He would be cute with a plant in him too, because he's kind of a small, he's kind of a small little mug. So I probably will put a plant in him and he will have hair. He'll have a, he'll have hair, little dapper fella. So that came from Stephanie and made me a little nervous. Well, I didn't remember what I ordered, but she wrapped this mug. She put it in a box first and then put it in a padded uh, flat right envelope. It came in good condition. But the key is still to make sure that you use that bubble wrap and you have an extra layer of protection. Okay, the next item, this is friend mail that came from Michelle at Mermaid Cove. Uh, Mermaid Cove Plants and Treasures. And I will open this up very ginger, very ginger, so I can reuse as much stuff as possible. She's included a card. Says, hi, Misty, just wanted to thank, say, just wanted to thank you for being such a great lady in person. I'm glad I found this thrift gang. It's so fun. We're all fun here, aren't we? I told you I do not dwell, do well with air plants, so I figured you could use these. What? Oh, oh, you give me hope that I can do a live sale. Yes, you can. You can absolutely. Let me just tell you. You do a live sale one time. It's frightening to, to say the least because you don't know what's going to happen you don't know if you're going to have you know people making a, a, inappropriate comments so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have moderators that can be watching the chat and they can you know squish them squish the trolls or squish the people that aren't being very nice they go away uh so that's like probably one of the most important things and another thing is you know just getting it out there doing it just know that your first couple ones, you're not going to sell everything. You're, you're going to fumble over your words. You're going to watch it, rewatch it and be like, oh my gosh, I'm so horrible. 
but what you think in your mind other people are thinking is wonderful so you do your first one it's horrifying you're scared you're nervous you don't know what to expect but you do it and you get that interaction that you get to have with your viewers and I, it's just so much fun Wednesdays are my favorite day of the week because I get to I get to interact and now I'm going to start doing some more live hauls so I'll be able to interact some more and that's exciting to me so I know that you can do this Michelle you can do it mermaid co mermaid cove plants and treasures I think I said that right I will link her channel in the description so y'all can go and check her out and root her on for having a live sale so apparently she wrote a little note about the plants oh my gosh okay so let me see what the note says about it says that the seeds are drought tolerant so they're established already throw them in a field alley vacant areas the seeds are california poppies and wildflower seeds i love wildflowers red and orange poppies california bluebells scarlet flax baby blue eyes bachelor button shirley poppy and tidy tips saucy flowers so you know what's funny is you know we filled in our pool and we are doing some landscaping around the area that the pool was filled in we're putting up a patio and a deck and so we're going i we're working on landscaping right now and so these are going to get planted i think i can plant them now i'm so nervous i'm afraid they're going to fall out everywhere i got to see how she's put them in a how she's put them in a thing come on tissue paper oh okay oh wow Oh my gosh, Michelle. And see, I'll plant these and I'll know where they came from. Be like, yep, my friend Michelle sent these to me all the way from California. Wow. Okay, so here are the wildflower seeds and here are the poppy seeds. I love poppies. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, Michelle. I am so excited. So excited. Okay, so this must be the air plant. Now, I have a hard time believing that you can't keep these alive, Michelle, because I can't keep anything alive, and I can even keep the air plants alive. I don't know. I'm like that with succulents, too. I can keep them alive, and I don't fuss about them at all. She's wrapped this so nicely. But again, I'm going to be ginger. Ginger, ginger, so I can save the bubble wrap. Ginger. Maybe that should be this plant's name. They say you're supposed to name your plants. I need to name mine. Maybe I can take some pictures of my air plants in their vessels and y'all can help me name them. Oh wait, no, what is this? Oh, the, uh, okay. I thought there was an air plant in here, which it kind of scares me a little bit. Although I order my air plants from Amazon and they come just fine. So it's kind of odd, but it's air plant fertilizer. It's air plant food. So I can make them grow big. So usage, apply a pump or two monthly during spring, summer, and fall, reduced to every other month during the winter. I never knew there was such a thing. Well, thank you, Michelle. I'm super excited about getting these planted. Super excited. And they're, I just, I love it. Thank you so, so very much. And all of this stuff will get reused. All of it will get reused. Okay, so the next box is another box of friend mail and it came from the crazy doxy lady. Nancy the crazy doxy lady. So she asked me if I was gonna open this up on camera. I like to, to do that for the most part, but sometimes there's just not a lot of time to, so. But she's like, oh, I can't wait to see you open it. So I'm gonna, I'm doing this. I'm gonna open it. Oh my gosh, the first thing is this cute vintage vines. Is that what it's called? Vineyard vine. Ooh, vintage vines sounds better. Maybe they should change their name. But it's vin vineyard, vineyard vines, whale. Sticker. I'm gonna put that. I have stickers on my laptop, so I'm gonna put that on my laptop. 
And she sent me, oh, an Alan Edmonds shoehorn. Let me, let me read her card. It says, happy belated birthday from a vet fellow June Gemini. Misty, a.k.a. weirdo. That's a compliment. I like that, Nancy. And she says, P.S., I'm a weirdo too. Feel free to read live or not. You can share your goodies in a video if you want. Well, I want, and I going to. So, she said I could read this. She even put it on the envelope before I even opened it up. Thank you so much. Okay, Rusty and Wally send their dog germs, the crazy spoiled doxies. Misty, first of all, I'm so sorry for your loss. Been down that road before. The white box is for that. Okay. Second of all, thank you for always recognizing me on your lives. Not all do. It means so much and always makes my day. The salt and pepper shakers have handle damage, but still thought they would be, they would look cute in a display. I hope I did good picking you out some Michigan and Indiana things. I've been buying this stuff for a while now. I hope you are all well and look forward to your live and other videos. XO, your friend Nancy, AKA the crazy doxy lady. I'm the crazy Jack Russell Terrier lady. I need to, you know what? I need to start a calendar. I need to start a calendar of the countdown days to when we get Maybell. Maybell. So I got a shoehorn. That's, that's kind of odd and weird. Maybe it goes with something else, but it's kind of random. And I think I like that, Nancy. I like random. Okay, some cushion, some cushion I'm going to reuse. Okay, so a Ross and Simmons back. This looks fancy. What's this? What's this? Ooh, did you make these, Michelle? Oh, I don't have any ear. It's so funny. I don't have any earrings on today. And look, they match my shirt. Perfect. Perfect. They've got, they've got like a little, like almost like an abalone shell and a little... A little starfish. So these are perfect. Oh my gosh. I love these. Thank you. I love them. Okay, so she said the white box. I'm not going to cry because I know that he's, you know, raising hell in heaven. Like he, you know, it's just what he did. So. Oh. Oh, it says no oh no longer by my side but forever in my heart. That's an honor of our broody. It kind of looks like a little dog tad too. Oh, that's an honor of a little broody boy. Again, he's up in heaven causing havoc and and not listening to anybody, just doing his own thing. That's our fella. Okay, so I love it. Thank you. I love jewelry. Oh, Rising Sun, Indiana. Oh, cute. Now, Rising Sun, I think, I don't, my, my geography is not the greatest. Is it, uh, well, it's either north or south of me, but it's, it's, this is like an Indiana scene for sure. <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, let me open up. Hang on. Hold that thought. Because here's the other handle. Or the other handle. The other salt and pepper shaker. Rising Sun, Indiana. Boop, boop. So I got the set. I don't think there's wear on the handle. I think they're great. They kind of have like a little pearlescent look to them. So absolutely, those will go on my shelf. This will go into my mug collection as well as my... Mac and all, or Mac and Act, depending who you ask. I sometimes call it both. This, look at the horses on it. Because, you know, Mackinac Island has no cars on it. It's all horses and bikes. And you, you take a buggy, or you walk, or you ride a bike. It's just a magical, magical place. So the horses are very reminiscent of anything with Mackinac, I think, because as soon as you, you take a ferry boat and as soon as you pull into port, you can smell the horse poop and the fudge. And it's just, it just gets me right here. Last thing is, oh, fun! 
It's Indiana. It's Indiana in stone. I've always wondered how they do this. This is like sorcery to me. I know that there's a way that they make these sorts of things, but this one's an Indiana one, and you can put it on a light source, and it will glow. That's cute. That one, I'll go in my Indiana shelf. Thank you so much, Nancy. These, it really, really does mean so much to me, and you know, being a weirdo is fine and dandy, and you know, we weirdos guys just gotta stick together and make make life a little bit more interesting, right? Yeah. All right. And I'm also going to open up another box here of friend mail. And this one is from my friend, Michelle Newton. She has an Instagram, uh, not channel, Instagram page called Newton's Cupboard. I'll link her page in the comments too. She lives down in Kentucky, not too far from me. I actually met her. Um, she came down to the store when we were still open. All right. Bubble wrap that I will save. She's got a card. Misty, first, thank you for everything. The support, the laughs, especially tips. I hope you like these cute face items. You're always killing it. Michelle, Newton's Cupboard. Oh, okay. This is one of the things. Now, she knows that this isn't a face thing. You know, I always look at the face on the objects. That's kind of the first thing when I see, I like, like ceramics and figurines and salt and pepper shakers and that sort of thing. And the first thing that I look at is their face because they have very unusual faces sometimes. And their faces are sometimes, will determine if I'm going to buy it. Ginger, 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 open it up so I can reuse it. So this is one thing, she knows that I'm starting a little bit of a collection of these cake pans and and molds. And so she sent me a picture of this and asked if I could use it. And I said, yeah, I'm making a display at my home for Valentine's Day. I think I've got enough though. I think I've got to, I've got to pull them all out and put them in the basket that I wanted to put them in and find out. But she's just got stuff in here. It's stuffed and it's packaged so well. She packages things like I do. A little extra, a little extra bubble wrap, but Oh, I'm going to have to cut this one, though, Michelle. Oh, maybe I don't. Ginger. Come on, Ginger. Oh, I did it. See? Power of Ginger works. Oh my gosh, it's a Sani. <laughs> it's a little round Santa tin. He looks very, like, he is tired. He is done delivering the toys, but what does... So his head comes off just for fun think and then his body comes apart too i think does your body come apart santa can we rip you apart well we'll figure that out later but oh santa let's put your head on the right way there we go so a cute little tin that will go in my santa collection oh santa you know let's put you inside the heart so you don't roll away all right Ooh, I found it right away. Oh, she's sending me Christmas. Oh my gosh. It's a little Christmas stocking holder. The little dog on it. He looks so derpy. That's a little stocking hanger. We got another little package. <laughs> I believe that this is a candle holder, but this cat's face. <laughs> he's a little wonky but man that face that I mean this will be painted like if I painted something that's what it would actually it probably would look worse but his face just makes me laugh he kind of looks like Conway my cat that died and then we have oh it's, this is a picture of some sort and I see a Tyrannosaurus Rex in here. All right, I'm coming for you, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Okay. Oh my goodness. It's a little baby with her little butt showing picture. It's, so this is a cruel piece. I'm gonna add it to my cruel collection. She's cute. Look at her little butt picking her pretty flower. She kind of looks like Holly Hoppy with a little bonnet on. 
And then this, I love, it's a magnet. He's a table man of Tyrannosaurus Rex. It says, killing it. That's fun. Thank you so much, Michelle. I really appreciate it. It's always fun. It's fun to get to get things that people are, are like, yeah, that's, that guy has a weird face. I think Misty would like that. I love that you, when you see things like that, you think, Misty would like that. It's awful. You know, that's fun to me.